guys, it's Mike, and today me and Pauline are out on a bike ride, and we figured we'd show you some of the things that we find. We're looking for edibles. So far we found mulberries, um, white ones. We found some sumac, which is good to add to our water. It gives it a little lemony flavor. Uh, you know, some other things we're gonna find, we'll show you along the way. And as a disclaimer, we're not experts, so before consuming any of this, Make sure you do your own research, consult a local expert, and you know, I hope you enjoy it. So this is the sumac berries that we found. And this is gonna add like a really nice lemony flavor to the water. So this is just plain water and just pop it in there. And if we were to bring this back home, we could make like a big pitcher of like lemonade with it. And then you would like break apart all the berries and then strain it out. But for these purposes, we're just gonna pop it in there and then it's gonna give the water a nice flavor. Let it marinate. And then you'll try it later, right? So you can look online for different recipes to use the sumac berries. And usually they call for just adding sugar and then mixing it with this. And it's really, really good. It makes kind of like a pink lemonade. So give it a try. wood sorrel. You can tell it has this little yellow flower there and it's like a clover but it's actually called wood sorrel. It's pretty good. It's like lemony citrus. Pretty good. Hey guys, so here we hit the jackpot. We have some wild black raspberries. Mmm, really good. So you want to pick them when they're really dark and they come off really easily. Mm. How many am I allowed to have? <laughs> All of them? Okay. Thank you, Mother Nature. This one's for you. Just found some daylilies. Uh, you can eat the flower, it's really good. They put this in hot sour soup. If you've ever had Chinese hot sour soup. Um, you could also eat this part. You gotta cook it though. They say it's a substitute for a string bean. Any recipe calls for that. But I think it tastes like asparagus. It's really good. Some people have allergies to this though, so you don't want to eat too much at once. <laughs> Clearly you're not allergic. I might be allergic. I had a little bit yesterday, but it didn't do anything to me. These taste like nothing I've ever had before. It's really unique. It's like a nutty zucchini flavor. And the petals are really succulent. And it's really good. Um, and then it kind of has like a spiciness in the like aftertaste. It's cool. 
the part that are like string beans or asparagus are the unopened flowers and you want to pick them when they're like one to two inches long and steam them or cook them however uh, we tried boiling them and then they tasted just like boiled asparagus it was pretty good so it's been about an hour since we put the sumac berries in our water bottles now i'm gonna try it and i actually put some of the raspberry bush leaves in my water too Mm. It's like flavored water. It's really good. We were just saying how we haven't seen any lamb's quarters, and the instant we said it, I looked down, and boom, here's some lamb's quarters. This one's really good. It's a mild green, so it doesn't taste too bad. You want to get it when it's young leaves. They don't taste as bad. They're more tender, and I don't know. Put it in salad. Is it healthy? Yeah, it's really healthy. I don't know why, it doesn't really taste that good right now to me. Maybe because it was right on the side of the road where all the cars yeah. were driving. You might not want to forage right on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs>